Hey, if you guys want to learn how to make the project, go ahead and check out the link below. You can go to Skillshare and you'll get the full class project there. You're going to get two weeks free. It's super simple. Check out the description and the comment section for that link. All right, in this video, we're gonna move on to making some more pie charts. We're essentially going to replicate the widget that we have here, which doesn't have any data right now, but we're gonna fix that in a second. And we're gonna, we're gonna show two additional things. So the two additional things we're gonna show is, was there an arrest for the crime recorded? And was that a domestic crime? So pie charts are a good way to show this. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. So first thing I want to do, so you see there's no data on the screen, like none of our widgets, none of our, our map has nothing on it. And that's because of this date range. And that's literally just the current date for me right now. And the data is not, it's not real time. It's uh, in the past. And I know specifically there's a lot of good data between um, 2015 and 2016. And what I'm going to actually do is set a default value on this <coughs> for just kind of generally that year. So that way there's always data in our widgets and um, we don't have to have this default of 2020. So go and configure your uh, date widget and we'll say fixed date for both of them. And what I'm gonna do is go back to January 1st of 2015 will be the, the initial like default fixed date. And then we'll do the same for 2016. So we'll just do a year and I'll hit done. And now that gives us some data. And so um, there we go. So see, it's all loaded in here. So now uh, we have a default frame uh, in time where that data is always coming in. So I'm going to always save after every change. And so let's do this. Let's go ahead and duplicate this widget that we made in the last video. So we'll just duplicate that. And instantly we get a just a double tap on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this to be kind of um, below. So like one is on top of the other. And then I'm going to go configure this new widget. And we know that it's new because it will have inside of the general tab, it'll have this little copy right here. And what we'll do is we'll say uh, arrest for crime pie chart. And for the title, I'm just gonna say arrest for crime and question mark because this data visualization here will kind of indicate was there an arrest for the crime? Like yes or no. And so we'll go ahead and we'll say for our data, we're gonna to wanna to change this to arrest. When I do arrest, we have two values, false and true, that come up. And we have all the style uh, that the other pie chart had. We just wanna change maybe the slice colors. So for false, I'll do like a red. And then for true, I'll do like a green. So <clears throat> you can see out of this data set right now, we're not getting a lot of arrests on these crimes. So that's interesting insight. And here we go. So now we just we've just made another useful um, visualization of, of the data that we just chopped out. And yeah, so now we can see specifically if I if I click on this and I want to lower this um, back a little bit. Let's see, I want to click here. So maybe I want to pick like March. So now I have a, a much lower um, amount of crimes here, but what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to set my actions because I need to set actions every time I add a new chart or something that I want it to reflect on. <clears throat> and now I have to modify this a little bit. I'm gonna change that. Okay, cool. So from January to March of 2015, there were no arrests for those crimes. So everybody 
who committed these crimes right here just got off scot-free so kind of an interesting insight there and um, yeah we can see this is working you can see as we're building this we're sort of gaining some insight and we're like mm, okay cool this is this is working so the other thing I'm gonna want to do is we're gonna make another pie chart and we're going to assess whether this was a domestic crime or not so I think that means if it's between like uh, people living together like spouses partners um, so I'm just gonna hit duplicate on this one because it's just gonna be a true or false again so this will this will fit really well and I'm gonna drag this one and I'm gonna kind of put it down here on the bottom right here I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller actually what I might do is I'll try to maybe put these by each other yeah so see how I just kind of managed my real estate there so that way like all the legends and the entire chart itself and the title and everything it um, loads really clean and, and everything makes sense and you can read all the the words for the labels that that's how you want it to be so let's go ahead and hit configure and make sure this is the right one yep this is the copy so we'll say um, domestic crime pie chart that'll be the, the name of it and we'll say domestic domestic crime okay cool so now <clears throat> we'll say domestic and this will give us a false or true and we'll change those slices again and we'll do same colors and it's really good to be consistent with your colors across everything now I can't get my true and false colors to match up with my like crime type colors for obvious reasons there's no real way to like match um, because they're different pieces of information so I can't really color match them but um, with the true and false this is the same like it wouldn't make sense if I changed the false on one pie chart to be blue and on the other one it's red and you're just getting all these like crazy mixes of colors that don't make any sense so that's not what you want um, Let's check this out. Let's do something real fast where we actually action um, one of these charts. Uh, if I want to select like, okay, there were arrests for crimes or okay, there were domestic crimes. Okay, well, what types of crimes are we getting arrests for? And I'll action this widget onto this widget. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll start with the arrest one. So I'll say action, add action, and I'll filter from this widget pointing at another target. And I'll say from here, I want to point at the crime by type pie chart. Okay. So if I say true, see it filtered that widget there. If I say true, the only things that we're getting arrests for in this data set are assaults and motor vehicle thefts that's kind of interesting so sort of neat and now check us out let's go ahead and we'll say um, this widget right here if this changes we want it to affect our map because we want to see where we're getting um, if I say true I'm getting arrests well I want to see what area I'm getting these arrests in so let's say configure actions add action filter add target and this one, it's gonna be the map, and then it's gonna be that overall layer. So let's see if we get that to work. And right off the bat, we're not, okay. So this is kind of interesting because if I hit true right here, it'll filter this, but until I select something here, I won't see a reflection on this widget so the actions do work um, just know that you can't get um, this one to filter this um, as immediately as we might like anyhow okay so now we got these two widgets the only thing left to really get these um, like super in line with each other is I'm gonna to want to get this date widget and I'm gonna to want to send an action on from this to this 
which I do. So let's go ahead. I'm going to set this to April. And yes, this does work. Now, also too, I could set an action from this chart over to my crime type pie chart. So let's see if I hit true. I can see where the domestic crimes are. So arson, assault, motor vehicle theft, generally not domestic, which kind of makes sense. Generally, there's not people um, who live together who are stealing each other's cars, but there are people who live together assaulting each other and kidnapping each other. So that's um, some interesting insight there that we're gaining already. The only thing I could say is that these are slightly not the same like size. So I'm gonna to try to give them um, a little bit more space. And we do have this nice little like percentage bar in the middle. So I can say like 50.1%. Um, yeah, so these, these are roughly the same size now, so I'm okay with that. I think I just moved that for no reason. Maybe we're gonna move this down a little bit. So that way this legend here has a little bit more room. And all in all, we have successfully created all the pie charts that we're gonna create in this project and they look great. So in the next video, we'll move on to making some more widgets and we'll build, be building off of that for the rest of the dashboard.